start with getting all these people in the room, set up a first tagging system. But what we also see, you know, it's um, it's something that you can continuously evaluate and improve, of course. So don't see it as the definitive thing, but really see it as something that you can keep iterating on and uh, evaluating. And you can always, you know, as we said, merge a few tags if you think, oh, they might not be so useful. You can always add in a few new ones. So it's very flexible. um, And yeah, that's also the way it's been designed. In all fairness, um, we uh, at Daydo also, I think, did it twice to land on the system that we now use. So the first drop is not always the best drop, yeah. is my experience. Exactly. And maybe to end this uh, like round of tips on how to set it up, um, starting small is also something I can recommend, especially if you're a large international. You're already making a list of all the different countries that you have or the different domains or teams, you know, that can quickly expand to maybe you know hundreds of tags if you uh, if you want to do it very thoroughly. Um, but what we would recommend, what we always see is that you don't start using data often, at least with the whole company with like a thousand users right away. You often start with you know a, a smaller core team, and then from there it starts expanding and more and more roles and more and more teams start using it. So especially if you're thinking of doing a pilot, you know. Create the list of full of you know the full tags of the full, all the countries, all the teams that you need, but then only actually input the ones into data that you will actually use um, in like a starting up period or like a pilot. Um, so you don't oversaturate, yeah, unnecessarily, you know. So yeah, a few tips here. Lastly, also last but not least, uh, use emojis. You might have already seen that. Created a few emojis in uh, our tags here as well, and that's not just. Of course, it looks nice. So here you can see a little channel icon or a country icon. Um, of course, it looks nice, but it also makes it more clear what you're actually talking about. You know, people are often still visual um, thinkers, so yeah, a little icon c- can go a long way to just make it a little bit more easier to find the tag that you need. 